This video shows you an example of creating a leaderboard using the Bitrave plugin in Unity 3D. I've created a fork of Bitrave, you can get the link in the description, with the scripts already installed. If you download the Bitrave plugin using the link, you'll get the Azure UI leaderboard and the leaderboard C Sharp scripts. You can see them there in the assets folder. So what I'm going to do is create a new Unity project with the default settings. And then I'm going to copy the assets into my Unity project folder. So I can just drag and drop those assets into my Unity project. And you'll notice, as usual, the Bitrave plugin requires the Newtonsoft dependency. So I'm going to download json.net from the Unity Asset Store. and just import that into my project. And this will allow me to target multiple platforms, iOS, Android, and Windows. And you'll notice the dependency error disappears. Next, you want to open up the test Azure scene. And then select the main camera and just remove the script in the inspector. You can see the leaderboard object that we have, simply a score and a username that we're going to store in a mobile service table. And it has the mandatory ID property and a username and a score. So I'm going to add this table in my Azure mobile service. Create a new table called leaderboard. And I can inspect the table columns. I can see that it just has the mandatory column as well as some other columns that we get for free. So this will be dynamically populated using our leaderboard object. Next, I'm going to update my Azure endpoint using my mobile service connection strings. So I can go to my Azure mobile service quick start page and copy and paste the connection strings into my Unity project. and then save the script. Once that's set up, I can reattach the script. So I'm gonna drag the Azure UI leaderboard script and drop it onto the main camera. This will reattach it. Now I can play the script. I can change the username. And I can give myself a score. Let's say I scored 250 points. I can add that score into the database. I can return a list of all the scores. And if I also go to my Azure portal, I can make sure that that has imported. I can see the score there. I can also change the username and submit another score. And my arch nemesis Deadly Toes has scored 500 points. So I can list the scores and I can see all the scores there. I can also list the high scores over 100, 500 points. 
and I can also edit the scores for each record. And I've managed to update my score to 1000 points so that I come top of the leaderboard. You can also query the user scores, so I can query by username and get an exact user scores. And again, I can get those updates by refreshing the table in my Azure mobile service. And that's pretty much it for this demo. Hope you can see how easy it is to create a backend for your game using Azure mobile services and hope you can use it in your game.